All right, let's look at some examples of these grotesque quadratic-like equations. So in this case, kind of like with quadratics, we're going to want to have everything on one side. Actually, we can do that later. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do it now. Doing it now kind of makes uh, the substitution a little bit easier, which is a problem. It's kind of hard to tell what should I let u be. In this case, I'm going to subtract 18y squared from both sides. And that leaves me with 0 on the right, which is what I want. Then the trick to substitution, step 2, is to let u equal the middle variable. So in this case, let u equal y squared. And we can double check that that works by looking at what u squared would be. If everything works out, we should be able to replace everything, all the y's in this equation, with u's. y squared squared, we end up multiplying the exponents, so this is y to the fourth. So, 81y to the fourth. I don't want y's, so I can replace it with u squared. 81u squared minus 18y squared. Don't want any y's, but I know y squared can be replaced with u. So this becomes minus 18u plus 1 equals 0. All those are fine. No y's in the rest of this. Now I look and see. I've got numbers. I've got u squared. I've got u. This is nice and quadratic. So I'm going to solve the quadratic. Well, this, I believe, should factor, just from my intuition. 81 times 1 is 81. And if I look at the factors of 81, there's a lot of them. Plus or minus 1 and 81, 2 doesn't work. 3 and 27, and the last pair is 9 and 9. The only way I can get a pair to add to minus 18 is if I take minus 9 and minus 9. Minus 9 plus minus 9 is minus 18. Minus 9 times minus 9 is still 81. So multiplying across is the same thing as multiplying up and down. So my order is first, second, third, fourth number. So it's 81 u squared. My next two numbers are going to be coefficients of u minus 9u minus 9u and my last number is constant. It has no u's attached to it. So if I pull, what do I have in common here? I have a u in common, but there's more than that. 81, 9 goes nicely into 81. So I could even pull out a 9u. Nine, 9 goes into 81 9 times. u goes into u u times, or pulling a u out of u squared leaves me with u. Pulling 9u out of 9u just leaves me with 1 as a placeholder. Now, when I'm done factoring this out, I need to get 9u minus 1, because I need what's inside these two pairs of parentheses to be the same. So the only way I can do that is if I pull a minus 1 out. That'll leave me 
minus 1 times 9u is minus 9u, minus 1 times minus 1 is a plus 1. Excellent. The things in parentheses are the same, so I can pull those out. And I'm left with 9u on the first term, and on the second term, pulling the 9u minus 1 out leaves me with minus 1. So, I split this up into 9u minus 1 equals 0, or 9u minus 1 equals 0, which is kind of dumb. This is a perfect square. You know, this is just 9u minus 1 squared is a quicker way to write this. So all I need is for 9u minus 1 to be 0. This condition is the same thing. It's redundant. So I don't need it. I just need to focus on I just need to focus on it once. I don't need to solve the same problem twice. That's the better way of putting this. Add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by 9. And there's u. But you're not done. No one asked us anything about u's. We've got to substitute back the original variable, which in this case is y. And we had u being y squared. So we have y squared being 1 ninth. And we solve this. Well, to get rid of a square, we take square roots of both sides. Adding the obligatory plus or minus. So we have y is plus or minus the square root of 1 ninth. Square roots play uh, nicely with fractions and multiplication. So this is just the square root of the top divided by the square root of the bottom. And that leaves us with plus or minus 1 third. Now, let's see. Yes, good. Just double checking we got the correct answer. <laughs> Sorry about that delay. All right. Last step, we need to check. These have been bad examples, both of them, both the one in the previous uh, video and in this video ended up being, uh, both answers ended up being correct. We didn't throw anything out. So this is fairly easy to check because we're just dealing with y squared. So if y is one third, y squared is a third squared which is 1 ninth and y to the fourth is just a third to the fourth 1 to the fourth is 1 3 to the fourth is 81 and it turns out if y is we can save ourselves a bit of time if y is minus 1 third y squared is the same thing as it is over here it's positive one ninth, and y to the fourth is the same thing. It's just the same as it was before. Y to the fourth is 81. So really, regardless of whether y is positive one third or negative one third, y squared and y to the fourth, the things we're going to use to check this equation are both the same. So we just have one thing to check. So let's see. In either case, y to the fourth is 1 over 81. Next is, let's see, if we go back to the very original equation, then this is plus 1 equals 18. And y squared, regardless of whether we chose plus or minus, is 1 ninth. So 81 times 1 over 81, that's just 1. So we get 1 plus 1 on the left. Is this the same thing 
18 times 1 ninth is just 2. And yeah, 1 plus 1 is 2. So both solutions work. Y can be either plus or minus 1 third and we'll end up with a correct answer. Now, yeah. I don't like this next one, but I do want to go over, I do want to leave you with at least one more example. Don't want to shortchange you here. But still, I don't quite like this example. I'm not going to throw anything this hard your way. And if anything this hard appears on the final, I will let you know. But, in this case, everything's on one side. So this first step is already done. Next, we need to substitute. And if you squint, what we're dealing with is something squared plus 7 times something plus 12. Our substitution should be x squared minus 4x. Because then u squared is just all this stuff squared. And we can then write our original equation as u squared plus 7u plus 12 equals 0. And a is 1, c is 12. In the interest of time, I'm going to speed through this a little bit, so please forgive me. 1 times 12 is 12. Factors of 12 are 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, and 4. 3 and 4 are what I need. 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 times 4 is 12. So I break this up as 1u squared plus 3u plus 4u plus 12 equals 0. So in the first two terms, I could pull a u out, leaving me with u plus 3. In the second two terms, I can pull 4 out, and that will leave me with u plus 3 again. Now that the things inside parentheses are the same, I can pull it out. And pulling out u plus 3, in the first term, I'm left with u. In the second term, pulling u plus 3 out leaves me with 4. So now I set each factor equal to 0. So it's the case that either u plus 3 is 0 or u plus 4 is 0. That's the only way the product of the two could be 0. So u is minus 3 or u is minus 4. Uh, yes, so in this case, after substitution, we solve. Sorry about that. And now we substitute back. So we have x squared minus 4x is minus 3 and x squared minus 4x is minus 4. Not only was this a little bit difficult to substitute for, look what we have. x squareds, x's, numbers. We've got two quadratic formulas. It's a quadratic within a quadratic. So I get everything to one side. In the first equation, I'll add 3. In the second equation, I'll add 4. And in the interest of time, I'm going to factor these right away because I've done thousands of these and no quadratics 
quite well. But both of these will factor quite nicely. So we are left with x minus 3 is 0, x minus 1 is 0, or x minus 2 is 0. We actually get that twice, but why solve the same thing twice? x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. That's the same thing as just 1, x minus 2 equals 0. So our, our solutions are 3, 1, and 2. And when we check, when x equals 3, I'm curious as to what u is. x squared minus 4x is, this is our u, 9 minus 12, which is minus 3. If x equals 1, x squared minus 4x is 1 minus 4, and that's also minus 3. So we don't need to check both. We just need to check when u is minus 3. And when x is 2, x squared minus 4x is 4 minus 8, which is minus 4. So we check the cases when u is minus 3 and the cases when u is minus 4. So we're going to have minus 3 squared and then plus 7 times minus 3 plus 12 that's 9 minus 21 plus 12 which is minus 12 plus 12 that's 0 and then for minus 4 minus 4 squared plus 7 times minus 4 plus 12 that's 16 minus 28 plus 12. 16 minus 28 is minus 12. So our solutions are 1, 2, and 3. Tedious, yes. But hopefully you're capable of solving this now.